Wendy, thank you for being with us. Um, I'm really, uh, would very much like to know, what is, do you think is your father's problem? In the three years of my father being the chairman of Asia Society Hong Kong, I believe the defining moment was to persuade the Hong Kong government to give Asia Society this site to be its Hong Kong permanent home. It was, this was the former Explosives magazine is in the Victoria barracks in the old British colonial days. The negotiation with the government then was by no means easy, but luckily with the help of many others, he's managed to secure the deal with the government. And on that note, I have a story to share with you. So my father and Ronnie arranged to come to visit this site to see if it would be suitable. So with both their busy schedule, they didn't arrive in the site until early evening. So back then, the site had been abandoned for years. The buildings were dilapidated and the grounds were overgrown with trees and whatnot, like a jungle. So the two of them had to use, and, and there was nobody to show them around. And the two of them had to use the torches to explore their way around to see to inside the buildings and the grounds. Well, lucky they liked what they saw in the dark. Otherwise, who knows where the Asian Society Hong Kong Society uh, uh, Center might have ended up. And on that note, I would like to tell you another of my father's proudest achievement. And that is to persuade Ronnie to succeed him as the chairman of the Asian Society. I don't need to tell you what a wonderful chairman he is and what amazing work he's done for Asian Society Hong Kong. With his tireless leadership and unfailing dedication. Ronnie has taken Asian society to levels far beyond my father's greatest imagination. Wendy, why did your uh, father decide to take the chairmanship of Asian society of Hong Kong? And what did it mean to him? Well, my father devoted his whole life into making Hong Kong a better place. And through his work in banking, finance, education, and his government appointments. So I believe he felt that it was important to promote Hong Kong as a global city, and also to solidify Hong Kong's importance within Asia, and also its ties to the US and the West. Don't forget, back in the late 1980s and early 90s, there was no internet. So information was not quite so readily accessible. And traveling was not as convenient or common as it is nowadays, at least pre-COVID. And my father felt that it was important to have an organization whose mission is to promote greater understanding and communication between Asia and the US. And I believe to date, Hong Kong, Asia Society Hong Kong is the only center with a permanent home outside of the USA. I'm also curious to know, has Sir Kuda Hu visited uh, Asian Society Hong Kong campus uh, on the ex former Explosive Magazine site? Um, he did. Well, my father was hospitalized in his final years. So in 2012, he got permission from his doctor to leave his hospital bed for an outing to visit the Asian Society Hong Kong Center. And I believe then the Asian Society had had just been open a few months. So despite being very tired from being not well and the traveling, he visibly perked up when he came to the center and to see it in all its glory. He, I could see in the look in his eyes that he was so very impressed with the fantastic buildings, the side, all the surrounding. I think what was a vision some 20 odd years ago had become a reality, and he saw it. And what a far cry from that jungle he saw with Bonnie back then. Um, I remember, because I was there, and it was on this roof garden uh, that his eye perked up. And as a member in the 90s, I was so in awe of your father. 2012, when he was here, I just to see him uh, you know, perked up, I, to me, it's one of the highlights of my of, uh, of my career here, my tenure here at East Asian Science. No, so. it was a very touching and moving moment for all of us.
Yes, and and your whole family was yes. most of your family, was, yeah, your mother. Yeah, yeah. I was I remember that 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 uh, day very well. So thank you for bringing him. As we're here celebrating the 30th anniversary of Asia Society Hong Kong, uh, which your father had kind of had a key role in, what do you think um, you would have liked to see Asia Society Hong Kong become in the next 30 years? Um, my father would have turned 100 last year. And he's seen a lot of changes in his lifetime. So since he became chairman in 1990, we've seen the Asian economy thrive. And it's cooperation, um, communication, trade, commerce, cultural exchange with the US improved significantly. However, I think my father would be dismayed to see a China and, a, and the US have taken a few steps back in this regard in the last few years. I think my father would like to see Asian society help to counter this trend and to carry on its stated mission to foster cultural understanding and dialogue between Hong Kong, that means, sorry, between Asia and the US and help to lead to a fairer, peaceful and more sustainable global community.